Hey, this is Vanessa again. In today's episode, our team have prepared some of the latest ASEAN news and its surrounding, and here they are. Australia Prime Minister meets ASEAN leaders in Cambodia. Welcome is Timor's memberships. Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese, during a meeting of leaders of ASEAN in Cambodia, welcomed East Timor's membership to the bloc. Australia welcomes ASEAN leaders in principle agreement to admit Timor-Leste to be the 11th member of ASEAN. As Timor-Leste's largest development partner, Australia is committed to providing capacity building to support its full ASEAN membership. The bloc in a statement said ASEAN had agreed in principle to admit East Timor as the group's 11th member more than a decade after the country requested membership. The country will be the first new member of the regional grouping in more than two decades since Cambodia was admitted in 1999. Indonesia and Japan leaders meet ahead of G20 summit. Indonesian President Joko Widodo met Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida in a bilateral meeting ahead of the G20 summit in Bali. Further details about discussions were not immediately available. Japan's top government spokesperson said Japan is also working on arranging a summit meeting between Kishida and Chinese leader Xi Jinping without elaborating. The November 15-16 summit is the first among G20 leaders since Russia invaded Ukraine in what Moscow has called a special military operation, which is likely to be a major topic of conversation at the meeting. G20 chair says world cannot move forward if war does not end. Group of G20 Chair Indonesian President Joko Widodo called for unity at the bloc's 2022 summit and said that the group must not allow the world to fall into another cold war and that conflict must end. If the war did not end, it would be difficult for the world to move forward without referring directly to the war in Ukraine at this opening speech to the summit. Host Indonesia for the bloc hoped leaders of the G20 major economies can focus on action to help a global economic recovery despite deep rifts due to the war in Ukraine. The paradigm of collaboration is badly needed to save the world. We all have The West has accused Russia of making irresponsible statements on the possible use of nuclear weapons since its February invasion of Ukraine. Russia has in turn accused the West of provocative nuclear rhetoric. According to an early draft of a G20 statement seen by Reuters, that G20 leaders will denounce the use of or any threat to use nuclear weapons. United Nations chief visits notorious former prison in Cambodia. The United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres visited a notorious former prison in Cambodia in the capital Phnom Penh for a regional summit. The prison has since been converted into the 12 slang Genocide Museum and Guterres was taken on a tour to view exhibits and prison cells. He also met survivors of the traumatic 1974-1979 regime under the Khmer Rouge, a communist guerrilla movement blamed for 1.7 million deaths. The memory of these genocides can, must be preserved to avoid similar situations to happen in the future, wherever in the world. So we need to pay tribute to those that perished here, and the best way to pay tribute to them is to make sure that their story would never be forgotten. An estimated 17,000 to 20,000 Cambodians were crammed into Tuol Slang, also called Security Prison 21 or S21 under the Khmer Rouge. Biden thanks Prime Minister of Cambodia for stance on Russia's war at ASEAN summit. 
United States President Joe Biden thanks Cambodian's Prime Minister and Chair of the ASEAN Regional Bloc for his critical remarks about the war in Ukraine and said he was looking forward to democracy returning to army-ruled Myanmar. Biden made the remarks ahead of the meeting with Hun Sen, Cambodia's long-serving leader and this year's head of the ASEAN bloc, which has been leading efforts to start peace process in Myanmar. We have a long agenda today, I know, on the basis to it. But, uh, pandemic recovery to tackling the rising energy prices and food insecurity. But I also want to thank you uh, for Cambodia's clear condemnation of Russia's invasion of Ukraine, and uh, from your leadership in the Austrian Ukraine, it has to be one of the most difficult years. So thank you for that. And uh, as I said last year uh, in our borrow summit, again in May, uh, the United States is committed to the Austrian Sea travel. We are committed to that. We remain committed to seeing the return of democracy and more and more, and we are working with the ASEAN to ensure the implementation of the five-point consensus that is out there. We've got a lot of work to do, and I'm looking forward to uh, the U.S. ASEAN uh, Summit and uh, delivering on our shared vision of peace for all of our people. And I look forward to the meeting. Thank you for your time. Cambodia is hosting the annual summit and a parallel East Asian summit with the regional bloc engaging a host of leaders including Biden, Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida, Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese and South Korean President Yoon Sok Yeol. The event is the first in a series of summits in Southeast Asia that are expected to tackle tricky global issues from the war in Ukraine, climate and regional tensions over the Taiwan Strait, the South China Sea and North Korean missile launches. Xi Jinping meets Emmanuel Macron in Bali, urges more cooperation on global challenges. Chinese President Xi Jinping met French President Emmanuel Macron on the sidelines of a summit in Indonesia, with both sides urging more cooperation to overcome global challenges during meeting in G20 summit in Bali, Indonesia. She said, both sides needed to increase communication and cooperation along with promoting bilateral relations to inject stability and positive energy into the world. Macron said the two countries should rejoin forces in order to tackle, at the same time, big international challenges including climate changes and the crisis in Ukraine. France, along with its Western partners, has tried for several months to persuade countries that have not openly criticized Russia for its invasion of Ukraine to take a tougher stance and encourage Russia to change course, although there has been little sign of a change in the Chinese position. Joe Widodo hopes from G20 summit can solve global crisis. Indonesian President Joko Widodo expects the 17th Group of 20 Summit to generate concrete results and the G20 members to take practical measures in tackling global crises together. In an exclusive interview with China Central Television ahead of the summit, the Indonesian President said the G20 Summit is urgently needed at the current time for global leaders to find a joint cooperative approach to the problems facing the world. G20 adalah grup negara-negara besar yang juga punya pengaruh besar. Banyak masalah dunia yang sekarang ini kita hadapi bersama-sama, krisis yang juga harus selesai, perekonomian global yang juga harus segera bangkit, dan kami ingin mempersiapkan itu sedetail mungkin. Sehingga G20 Summit harus menghasilkan hal-hal yang konkret, menghasilkan hal-hal yang nyata, yang berdampak nyata, pada dunia. The G20 gathers major countries of the world and thus has huge influence globally. Many problems of the world need to be tackled with our common efforts. The relevant crisis must be eradicated and the global economy must be recovered as fast as possible. We hope that we could be adequately prepared in this regard.
so the G20 Bali Summit is urgently expected to generate concrete results with practical work that will have effective influence over the world. Kita ingin mengajak semua uh, anggota G20 untuk dialog, untuk berdamai dan bersama-sama mencari solusi bersama. Sekali lagi, saya ingin menyampaikan perang harus segera diakhiri dan krisis, krisis pangan, krisis energi, krisis finansial harus segera selesai dan itu bisa terjadi kalau kita bisa berdialog bersama-sama berkolaborasi dan Jokowi also hopes that the summit will seek solutions for the already 10 month old conflict between Russia and Ukraine. Indonesia would like to invite all the G20 members for dialogue and to seek peaceful settlement for the issue together. I want to stress that the conflict should be ended immediately and the food, energy and financial crisis must be ended as soon as possible. We hope for a speedy recovery and then a fast rise of the global economy. Apalagi, uh, er Jokowi also hopes that China will maintain its significant role in promoting concrete cooperation among countries across the world which will help with the global economic recovery. The 17th G20 summit is scheduled to take place in Bali, Indonesia during two days. Paradigma baru tersebut, paradigma kolaborasi, paradigma kerjasama. Indonesian ambassador hopes for further development of bilateral relationships with China. Indonesia's ambassador to China, Jauhari Oratmangun, said his country is fully prepared to host the upcoming Group of 20 summit, expects further development of bilateral relations between Indonesia and China. The ambassador introduced during an interview with China Central Television, the 17th Group of 20 Leaders Summit will be held in Indonesia's Bali with the theme Recover Together, Recover Stronger. This year's summit will focus on global health, digital transformation and energy transformation. My government already make a lot of preparation. We are ready to host the coming summit in the mid of uh, November. Of course, as ambassador of the Republic of Indonesia in China, we are looking forward to the visit of the President Xi Jinping. China is an important cooperation partner for Indonesia. China will make great contributions to the summit and the two countries will further advance their relationship through cooperation. Joe Biden and Xi Jinping meet ahead of G20 summit for long-awaited talks between two countries. Chinese leader Xi Jinping and United States President Joe Biden met for long-awaited talks between their countries at their lowest in decades, marred by disagreements over a host of issues from Taiwan to trade. The two, holding their first in-person talks since Biden became president, met on the Indonesian island of Bali ahead of the Group of 20 summit that is said to be fraught with tension over Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Biden and Xi shook hands in front of a row Chinese and United States flags as they met at the luxury hotel Mulia on Usadwa Bay in Bali. They are expected to discuss Taiwan, Ukraine and North Korea's nuclear ambitions issues that will also loom over the G20 that is being held without Russian President Vladimir Putin in attendance. Ukraine's foreign minister urges ASEAN to condemn Russian aggression against Ukraine. Speaking at a news conference on the sidelines of the ASEAN summit in Phnom Penh, Ukraine Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuleba also called on its members to take all measures possible to stop Russia from playing Hunger Games over Ukrainian Black Sea Grain deal, which could expire. We uh, call on ASEAN countries to condemn the Russian aggression against Ukraine, because this is not just an attack against a sovereign, on a sovereign country. This is also an attack on UN Charter and the principles of territorial integrity, sovereignty, non-use of force. All of these principles are very acute for, to ASEAN countries. 
the deal allowing the exports of food and fertilizers from several of Ukraine's Black Sea ports brokered by the United Nations and Turkey on July 22 could end on November 19 if Russia or Ukraine object to its extension. Take every measure possible to stop Russia. Ukraine is joining the ASEAN summit and a parallel East Asian summit for the first time. Leaders of the United States, Japan, South Korea and Australia are among those also attending, as is Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov. Kuleva said Lavrov had not requested a meeting with him during the summit, as will to be the norm in international diplomacy. And that's the wrap up for today. We'll see you again soon. Stay safe, stay healthy. Have a lovely weekend.